Hi, Jamin. Good to see you. Good to see everyone. Thanks, thanks for all you guys for, for jumping on. Um, yeah, you know, we started this coaching search identifying some key attributes or a coaching profile. Um, you know, we had a, a longer list of candidates um, that we reached out to um, and did preliminary interviews before narrowing our list to the current finalists. And we're close to wrapping up, um, you know, the in-person interview a, a part of that. From there, that's going to enable us to make a decision. Um, as far as um, if there's going to be a coaching change this year or you know at the end of the year, we are still uh, d discussing that, um, and, and we'll make that decision upon uh, conclusion of our interview process. Um, look, Francisco and Chofis uh, were important players for us. Um, obviously, Chofis had a, a, a pretty good uh, year last year, but was unable to uh, regain the form or fitness uh, here for us this year. So. Um, I thought it best to um, have that loan expire. And then from a Francisco Calvo uh, a perspective, um, you know, th there, there were some things going on there, both for him personally as well as professionally, that, um, you know, we felt like uh, the situation um, of transferring him out was both best for him as well as for us. Uh, it was also good to get some revenue for, from, you know, from that transaction. Um, and so in this transfer window, um, look, we, we have offers out for, you know, a handful of players and uh, we hope to have movement on that front here very soon for you from um, kind of the strategy. Uh, it's both looking inside the league as well as internationally um, with Francisco leaving and him playing significant minutes for us at the beginning of the year. I'll say generally that we're looking to bolster um, that part of, of the field. Um, you know, on the defensive side of it. Anytime you make a coaching change, there's going to be a transition. Um, there's going to be a, a slightly, if not completely different game model, as was the case here between uh, the first seven games and, and since. Um, and that's not to diminish all the work that uh, Matias and that staff did, did before. But um, there, there is a little bit of a reboot that, that happened. But I'd like to say um, the style that we're playing right now is more on par with the kind of football that we'd like to be uh, a play here. Um, and look, I think you know our, our goal is to make progress. And I think since we made that coaching change, and you know after we dug ourselves into that hole, you know we, we've seen the results that um, that are more akin to what our expectations are. Um, we don't feel like it's a, a total rebuild. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, we feel like this roster is very competitive. Um, that's not to say that we're not going to try like heck to uh, improve the squad because we are and we constantly will. I, I, you know, for, for anyone that's in my position to say that they're happy with the you know, team or they're not looking to improve is, is just, un, you know, it's just not truthful. Um, so we will always and we are currently looking at every way, shape or form to, to improve the roster. But, you know, we have, in my opinion, since last year to this year, uh, increased our competitive level. Um, I think we're in, we're in a position to, to be able to, to, to compete with any team in Major League Soccer. I think these last games have shown that. Um, um, so that, that, gives us, that gives us promise. Um, so that's what I'd say about kind of where we are right now, the changes we, we have made um, you know, and, and are looking to make here in the future. The first seven games, you would look at our roster and the way that we're playing, you have a lot of questions. I'd say over the last 13 matches, I think it's a better animation of what this roster can really do. Um, and that's what I'm the most hopeful about, I think, right? The last 13 matches have, have seen uh, the players be put in positions for them to showcase their, their quality um, and really gives us a better understanding of what we need to continue to build upon um, um, in those profiles of, of, of players that, that we have. So for that, I'm happy about. Uh, I'm happy that we've made progress, significant progress. Um, we're, we're better than three times over the last 13 matches than what we were you know, in the first seven. Again, I don't think anyone at the club is happy with, with where we are right now. Uh, point blank, we're at the bottom of, of the league. That's not where we're going to be. That's not where we want to be. That's not where we're going to be. So we need to continue continuously and every single day uh, um, look at that and say, how can we improve? Uh, but it does give us uh, some level of, of, of 
uh, excitement that, you know, we, we can make progress and that the roster that we have right now has more quality than what was showed in the first seven games.